In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a skipjack class submarine that's used by the United States Navy in Minecraft. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we are here to help you build bigger and to help you build better, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more videos like this one, I've got tons on the channel, and I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to a playlist that you can check out. Anyway, let's get into building. All right then guys, so here we are on my flat tutorial world. So in terms of the dimensions of this one very quickly, it is a total of 76 blocks long. It is 13 blocks wide and 20 blocks high. Um, in terms of the materials that you're gonna need for this to get started anyway, it's gonna be mangrove slab, stairs, and also red concrete. So I used uh, red all the way through that. And then I used the polished blackstone after that to go a little bit higher. Um, so in terms of under the water, this is totally up to you guys because of course it's a submarine. Um, but if you wanted it kind of poking out from this layer here, so you can see that we've got, you know, this is the water, all right? Um, and you wanted this extra level kind of showing above that, this whole bit will be uh, just poking outside of the water. If you wanted that, how many blocks does that mean we're actually down? So if you had a block right next to your water level, which is here, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then this right here, that 10th layer, is your layer number one. Uh, that would get you there. And of course, you could sink it a little bit more, or you could have it, you know, raised a little bit more. Um, it's totally up to you guys what you wanna do. But anyway, that's it for the intro section. So let's get into the layer by layer part where we're gonna be building this up over the next hour or so, I guess, we'll see. All right, so for layer number one, find yourself your midline if you're building this one perfectly in a rectangle. If not, no problems at all. Um, but you know, some of you guys will be building this one docked and want to know, uh, can I get the front all lined up and stuff like that, which is fair enough. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna be a total of eight blocks back. I'm gonna use my blue concrete block for this because it doesn't appear in the build. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight <laughs> there we go one two three four five six seven eight there we go for some reason i was thinking it's more blocks than that but it's definitely not um i should listen to what i'm saying and not what i'm thinking uh now what we're going to do is we're going to have mangrove slabs we're going to have two upper mangrove slabs coming off of that block then we're going to have another two slabs like that then we're going to have three slabs and behind these three slabs we're going to have three blocks one two three then we're going to have a run of 19 slabs so one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Then moving inwards now, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our block and we're gonna have three blocks, one, two, and three. Then we're gonna have nine slabs on the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then with our blocks again, oh, actually it's not blocks, we're gonna go with our slabs again. We're gonna have three slabs now, one, two, three, like that. Then we're gonna have another set of three slabs, one, two, and three. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a 14 block gap. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Then right here, we're gonna have two red concrete blocks and an upside down mangrove stair. That is the rudder that we've got at the back there. Now, if we do the same on the other side, and then we'll do the filling in parts, but we're gonna have two slabs coming out, then three slabs, then three blocks. Then we're gonna have that run of 19 slabs. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Then we're gonna have three blocks, one, two, three. So that was moving in with that, just in case you got stuck from that. Um, we're then gonna have nine slabs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Move in with three slabs, two and three like that. All right, now we'll go to the front and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in two slabs, one and two. And then just either side of these, we're just gonna join these in with a slab there and a slab there. So it just kind of wraps around just like that, okay? Now going over to the back now, what we're gonna do is where we've got this kind of long run where we've got the all the slabs going on there, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and go to the fifth one. Okay, and then add in a, okay, get there eventually. So one, two, three, four, then you're gonna go diagonal from that one, then diagonal again. So you end up with this, okay? So one, two, three, four, diagonal, diagonal, like that. And we can just fill these in here with your slabs. 
like that. There we go. And you can knock out your guide blocks now because we don't need those. They're all good. Um, and then this bottom part right here, you just need to fill this all with red concrete. Now I've got a mod uh, for you guys that don't know, which is called World Edit, and it's awesome. So I can just do fill a radius around me of red concrete and just fill that whole thing up. But, uh, you know, if you guys have to do it manually, uh, you'll get onto it absolutely fine. But that's it for layer number one. On to layer number two now, and you're going to come forwards with three blocks. So one, two, and three. Then we're going to have two slabs right on the front of that. Then on to the side of this now, we're going to start with the um, right next to uh, the last, the first slab. First slab or last slab? I don't know which one. This one right here, right? You're going to have a slab there. Go back with another slab. So you're going to have a one, then a two with your slabs. Then we're going to have one slab diagonal from that with two red concrete blocks behind, one and two. Then we're going to have two slabs, one and two, like that, with four blocks behind, one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have ten slabs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, with eight blocks behind, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then another 10 slabs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Moving in now, we're going to have 5 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we're going to have 5 slabs on the end, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we're going to have 3 blocks, 1, 2, 3. And then 4 slabs, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we're going to move in with 2 slabs, 1 and 2. And then in with 2 slabs, 1 and 2. Now, on top of your rudder piece, just put three blocks directly on top of the last layer there. So let's do this kind of outline on the other side now. So one block back, we're going to have two slabs. Go out diagonal with one slab here, with two blocks behind, one and two. Two slabs, one, two, then a four, one, two, three, four, with your blocks, that is. So two slabs, then four blocks. Then we're going to have ten slabs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then eight blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then 10 slabs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Moving in, we're gonna have five blocks, one, two, three, four, five. With five slabs on the end, one, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna have three blocks, one, get there eventually, one, two, three, and four slabs, one, two, three, and four. Then two slabs, one, and two, like that okay there we go go all the way to the front and um all we're going to do actually it's nice and easy this one is just with your red concrete we're actually just going to fill in those gaps now you can if you wanted to actually have lower slabs and you can do this all the way through the ship really you could have the lower slabs instead um so wherever you've got these you can end up doing that all right but uh it's up to you guys if you wanted to do that or not for me uh with modern ships i tend to just have my concrete uh, kind of concrete it all up so I've got a nice flat surface so I can put things on. Uh, but fill up these gaps here like this and also on the other side. And you pull that one back. Uh, now right at the back we're just going to do a couple little bits and pieces. So where we've got these two here, add another one in right there. And then add one in here and add one in there like that. And then with your concrete fill in the gaps. And fill these in. And same here, fill that up. And there as well. There we go. But that is it, guys, for layer number two. On to layer number three now. Come forwards with one block like this. Then we're going to have one slab on the front of that one, one slab on the side. I'm going to go diagonal with another slab here like that. And behind this one, we're going to have one block. We're then going to have two slabs, one and two. And then we've, uh, we're going to have two blocks behind that, one and two. Then what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to have three slabs, one, two, and three, with 11 blocks behind, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then we're going to go out with a total of nine slabs, so one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then move in. We're going to have 15 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Add four slabs on the end of that. 1, 2, 3, and 4. 
Then we're going to move in with eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then add three slabs on the end. One, two, and three. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move in with one block, and we're going to have one slab on the end. Then move in with one block, and we're going to have two slabs on the end. And then finally, we're going to have two slabs right here. Then three blocks, one, two, and three. And then an upside down mangrove stair on the end of the rudder. So now we've now connected the main body with the rudder piece. So let's do the outline on the other side now. So we get a slab right there, then another slab. We have a block behind that one. Then we're going to get two blocks right here with, uh, sorry, two slabs right here with two blocks behind. One, two. So I was getting ahead of myself again. Then three slabs. One, two, three. And behind those, we're going to have 11 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then we're going to go out with nine slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Move in with 15 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. With four slabs on the end. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. With three slabs on the end. One, two, and three. Then we're going to have one block with one slab on the end. Then we're going to have one block with two slabs on the end, one and two. All right, so go all the way to the front now, and we're going to do the filling in part of it. So there is no joiny around bits at all for this bit, so we're just going to fill in these gaps. Same here, same here. With this nice big bit here, we're just going to fill that all in, okay? So we're going to fill that all in, like that. And then we're going to do the exact same thing, it turns out, at the back. It would help if I actually checked that. <laughs> until I get there, but that's fine. There we go, fill that all in, just like that. Oh, there we go, I'm missing a couple of bits. There and there, there we go. So that's it guys for layer number three. On to layer number four, grab yourself your red concrete and we're gonna place a block directly on top of the last layer and then add one to either side. So you get three blocks going across. So this is where it's starting to kind of uh, flatten out a little bit, all right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a slab right on the front. That'll bring you right to the edge of your line. So that's the edge of the ship right there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have an, a slab on the end. Okay, so just on the end of that with one block behind. We're then going to go out. I'm going to have another slab. And this is going to have three blocks behind. One, two, and three. Now grab yourself your stair. And we're going to have an upside down stair now, okay? So upside down stair there like that. With eight blocks behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've just got to check that. There we go. Then we're going to have two slabs. One and two. With 20 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Then you're going to have two slabs on the end. One and two. Then move in with 15 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, with two slabs on the end, 1 and 2. Then you can have 7 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, with one slab on the end. Move in with two blocks, 1 and 2, with two slabs on the end. Then you can move in with one block, with two slabs, 1 and 2. And then finally, you're going to have one block directly on top of the last layer where you got that upside down stair. There we go. Right, so same on the other side now. So starting point is these three across have a slab with a block behind. Then we're going to have a slab with a total of three blocks behind. One, two, three. Then we're going to have an upside down stair, like here. And there's going to be eight blocks behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to have two slabs, one and two. Two with 20 blocks behind. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we go. We have two slabs on the end of that. 1 and 2. Then we're going to move in. We're going to have 15 blocks now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Two slabs on the end. 1 and 2. Then we're going to have seven blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. With a slab on the end, then two blocks, one and two, with two slabs on the end, then one block with two slabs, like that. Right, coming around to the front now, we're just going to fill in the gaps. Fill in the gaps there and there, on the two sides as well. Same way around here as well. 
So these are all nice and easy, okay? There we go. Do I need to do that one? No. <laughs> Apparently just just place an extra block, so why not? There we go. That's it guys for layer number four. On to layer number five now, place a block directly on top of the last one. Then we're gonna have an upside down mangrove stair either side of that like this, okay? So it's gonna be going across that way. Then what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna have one block directly on top of the slab that we have there. Then we're gonna have an upside down stair right here, okay? So upside down stair there like that. And this, uh, the stair is gonna have three blocks behind, one, two, and three. Then we're gonna have an upside down stair with seven blocks behind. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't know what's going on with my block placement at the minute. Upside down stair again. 26 blocks behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26. That's all I needed. 26, yeah, that's right. There we go. Put an upside down stair on like that. Then we're gonna move inwards. We're gonna have 15 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, with an upside down stair on the end of that one. Then seven blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, upside down stair on the end of that one. Then we're gonna have four blocks. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then three blocks. 1, 2, and 3. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have an upside down stair going this way, okay? So this way there. And a block, and we'll have one going that way as well. All right, so it all kind of gets to that nice point. So let's do the same on the other side now. So right there, diagonal from that stair, we're gonna have a block, then an upside down stair with three blocks behind, one, two, three. Upside down stair now with seven blocks behind, so one, well, not even one, upside down stair, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm getting myself confused, otherwise. Upside down stair, then 26 blocks, so one, two, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Put an upside down at mangrove stair on the end of that one as well. Now moving inwards, we're going to have 15 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Add an upside down stair. Then move inwards, we're gonna have a seven block run. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Upside down stair it. Then four blocks, one, two, three, four. Then three blocks, one, two, and three. Okay, now fill in those gaps. And then we're gonna do another little part of it as well. So this is part of the rudder, the red part of the rudder. So there we go, fill in the gaps. And by the way, guys, this is it for the red layers. So we're actually doing pretty good. We're about to get to the halfway part for the main hull, of course there's more on top. Right, so first, let's go on to the back now, all right? Um, so what we're gonna do right here is, where we've got this run of three, go to the middle, I'm gonna have four slabs on the upper piece coming out with your red mangrove. So one, two, three, four. Next one, have five coming out, one, two, three, four, five. Next one is a four, one, two, three, four. And next one is a two, one and two. So that's the shape you get, four, five, four, two. So same on the other side, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, like that. Now, guys, we're going to get on to the propeller, which, um, of course, goes across multiple layers, but it's best to just do it. Um, why not? So what we are going to do for this is where we've got this block, we're going to go, uh, I'll tell you the materials first, that might help. Uh, we're going to have waxed cut copper stairs and waxed uh, block of copper. <laughs> There's going to be a two materials. So out from here onto the next level, we're going to have a block and then that's going to go one back. So that's what you have there. That's your starting point. Now, in order to do this uh, propeller design, which makes it look like it's kind of uh, angled, what we do is we have an upside down stair. Then we have a normal stair and an upside down stair. So it's just like you're doing normal stairs, really. But then what we do is where we've got the next bit, we're just going to rotate that. And in order to do that, whatever this, this one here is, we just mirror it. It's really easy. So there we go, then that ends up going that way. Then we do the same thing here. So whatever that one is, we mirror it. So you have it where the shortest part of it is kind of touching it. You go upside down, oops, upside down, upside down. <laughs> then normal. And then we do the same thing here. So we do that where you end up with this kind of bit going in there. Upside down, 
normal. And that ends up making it look like you've got this angled propeller going on. Uh, and I love this design. I really do. I like it. I think it looks good. But guys, that is it for layer number five. So like I said, you're done with the red layer. So we're now on to the black layer. So we're now on to layer number six, and this is where we switch to our black. So in terms of the blocks you're gonna need, you're gonna need polished blackstone slab, polished blackstone stair, and also black concrete is what I ended up going with uh, for this one. Quite like the black concrete block overall. Um, but guys, I'm gonna be making it with diorite just instead. The reason being that um, the definition here, say of these three blocks, it's kind of not as clear. Uh, whereas actually if it was all made with diorite like this, it's really clear on video. So that's the reason I'm gonna be switching them out. So wherever I'm using polished diorite, you guys will be using black concrete. Okay, so uh, if I'm referring to it as black concrete um, as well, then uh, yeah, and I'm placing these, don't get confused. <laughs> but anyway, right on this level, right on top of the last block, we're gonna place a block of black concrete. Then we're gonna put a polished blackstone stair either side of that. And now we're going to be reversing the kind of uh, the things that we've been doing, basically. Um, we're then going to have a block directly on top of the last layer right here. Then we get a polished blackstone stair, normal one, on top of the last stair. Behind that stair, we're going to have three blocks of our black concrete. One, two, three. Then we get another stair, normal. Then we're going to get seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we get a stair. Then 26 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, then a stair. So you get basically the same thing going on with this one. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have 15 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and a stair. Then 7 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and a stair. Four blocks, one, two, three, four. Then three blocks, one, two, and three. And then finally a one. And what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna have a stair on either side of that to get it to come to a nice point. Right, let's do the same on the other side and then we will finish up the little bits and pieces on this one. So first things first is that block diagonal from your stair. Then we're gonna have a stair with three blocks behind, one, two, three. Then a stair with seven blocks behind, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then a stair with 26 blocks behind, but we know that it's just a duplication of what's on the previous layer, just kind of mirrored, just flipped like that. There we go, get your stair on top of that one as well. Well, you got your other stair there. 15 blocks now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and a stair. Then seven blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and a stair. Then four blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, then three blocks, 1, 2, 3, like that. Now the only other thing we need to do is where we've got these side bits, grab your polished blackstone slab and place those directly on the top to complete those rudders. I mean, it's the interesting thing about this sub is that the midline is in between these two blocks. Uh, so it means that actually this is split between the upper and lower, but it just happens to have red underneath and black on top. So it actually worked out really nicely. Right guys, so grab your black concrete now and fill in those gaps, okay? So wherever you've got those stairs, whack in a block to fill the gap up. Same around the front here as well. Get that all in there like that. There we go, so that's what you have. And that's it for layer number six. On to layer number seven now. Grab your polished blackstone slab and place that directly on top of the last layer. Now, with your black concrete, have three blocks going across the back of that. Then we're gonna have a slab directly on top of this layer, and you'll notice that this is basically just mirrored, okay? Uh, to get that tear shot, tear shot, Jake, that doesn't make any sense. Tear drop, <laughs> teardrop, there we go, that's why. Oh, man. Anyway, have two, uh, just one block behind this now. So you've got a slab, you've got a block behind it like that. We're then gonna have one slab with three blocks behind, one, two, and three. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a polished blackstone stair on top of that uh, block there. And behind that, we're gonna have a total of eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna have two slabs, one and two, with 20 blocks behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
And then we're going to have two slabs on the end, one and two. Moving inwards, we're going to have 15 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we're going to have two slabs, one and two. Then we're going to have seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to have a slab. Then we're going to have three blocks. One, two, and three. And then a slab. Then we're going to have a block. And two slabs. One and two. And then finally a block just over the gap like that. Right, let's do the same on the other side now. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, get my words in order. But uh, you're going to have a slab right on the side here. Then a block behind. Then you're going to have a slab. Then we're going to have three blocks, one, two, three. Then you're going to have a stair with eight blocks behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a total of two slabs here with 20 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. With two slabs, one and two there like that. Then we're going to move in. We're going to have 15 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Two slabs, 1 and 2. Then we're going to have 7 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 with a slab. Then we're going to have 3 blocks. 1, 2, 3 with a slab. We're going to move in with a block. And then 2 slabs here like that. Now, all we're going to do, guys, is black, uh, grab your black concrete, wherever you've got a, a little gap, just put in a block behind it. So including those two there. Not on top, though. <laughs> there we go. Two there. Two there. Two there. And two there. There, there, there. What went on here? No, that's fine. Just looked weird to me for some reason. And then two on the back there like that. So you end up with that, like three at the back, and that's actually going to be the base of the next uh, rudder piece. But guys, that's it for layer number seven. On to layer number eight. Grab yourself your polished blackstone slab and place that directly on top of the middle block that we placed with these three uh, black concretes. Then we're going to have one slab diagonal from that going back, then a slab again. Now a blackstone, uh, not blackstone. Black concrete block behind that, okay? Black concrete block behind like that. Then we're going to have one slab with two blocks behind, one and two. Then we're going to have two slabs and then 11 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now with your slabs, we're going to go out onto this kind of run that we've got here and we're going to have a total of 14 slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Moving inwards, we're going to have 14 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And we're going to have three slabs on the end. 1, 2, and 3. Then we're going to move in with seven blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we're going to have three slabs. 1, 2, 3. Then we're going to have three blocks. 1, 2, 3. And then a slab on the end. Then we're going to have two slabs. 1, 2. Then one slab with three blocks. One, two, three. And then finally, we're going to have a normal stair on the end here like that. So let's do the same on the other side. So from this one, we're going to have a, a, a nice slab going out. Another slab goes out with a block behind it. Then we're going to have a slab with two blocks behind it. Then we're going to have two slabs with 11 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we're going to have 14 slabs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Move in now and we are going to have 14 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Add three slabs on the end of that one. Then we're going to move in with seven blocks, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add three slabs on one, two, and three. Then we're gonna have three blocks. One, two, three. Then we're gonna have a slab. Then we're gonna have two slabs. One and two, like that. There we go. So what we're gonna do now on the front? Okay, we're gonna do some stuff because we're gonna be kind of wrapping in similar to where we did underneath. Gonna be doing the same where we 
more and more these layers start to creep back, okay? So what we're going to do is grab our black concrete and we're going to place one block in the middle here. Grab yourself some yellow terracotta. You can also use yellow um, concrete as well if you want. It's up to you guys. I just prefer the terracotta, although it's, it's like a little bit duller, I guess. But uh, we're going to have a strip of three blocks behind that. Then with your polished diorite, add, uh, so it's all on this block here. I'm going to add one to that side and one to that side. So one there and one there like that. Where we've got these two slabs, add in two blocks behind. Where we've got this really long run, just bring your blocks all the way back. Okay, so that's just part of the wall. There we go. Bring this all the way back here like that. Now let's move all the way over to the back now. And what we're going to do is in the middle of these ones, we're going to go one, two, three, and four like that. Then on the sides, we're going to have a two. And then these ones are just a three to cover up these slabs. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So right here we have a two, okay? And we're just going to fill in extra blocks here wherever we've got a gap. So you end up with that kind of a shape at the back. Just like that, but there we go, guys. Uh, not yet. <laughs> three blocks. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just saw it before I ended that layer. There we go. So there we go. That is it for layer number eight. So on to layer number nine. Grab yourself your slab, and we're going to be one back from the yellow strip. So we're going to have a slab in this gap here, like that. Then we're going to have another slab, then two slabs, and behind these two slabs, we're going to have two blocks of your black concrete. We're then gonna have three blocks, one, two, three. Then we're gonna have five slabs, one, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna have 19 blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Then four slabs, one, two, three, and four. Then moving inwards, we're gonna have nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we're gonna have four slabs, one, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna move in and we're gonna have two blocks with four slabs on the end, one, two, two, three, and four. Then two slabs, then two slabs like that. Okay, so we end up getting, so it just fits into that gap that we made. So same on the other side now, we're gonna have one slab, then two slabs, one, two, with two blocks behind, one and two. Then we're going to have three blocks, one, two, three. Then we are going to have five slabs, one, two, three, four, five. Then 19 blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Then four slabs, one, two, three, four. Then moving in, we're going to have nine blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with four slabs on the end, one, two, three, four. Then nine blocks, one, two, three. That's not right, no, not nine blocks. Then we're just gonna have two blocks apparently, yeah. Just two blocks, okay, so two blocks, <laughs> there we go. And four slabs, one, two, three, four. That's me repeating a line that I've got in my little cheat sheet. Uh, we're then gonna have two slabs, okay, one and two. And that would really made it look weird. I'm like going out here to there. There we go, right, okay. So let's go on to the front now. So grab yourself your black concrete and right in the middle, we're gonna have two blocks coming out from there. So just two blocks in there. And uh, in fact, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna be joining on these. So we're gonna go onto the side of this one, then go back and join onto here and then do the same here. So you end up with that one there, that one there, and that one there. Join these together. Same with this bit right here, okay? So before we were just covering up and we were just doing this where we just cover up, add in an extra block at the back there like that. So it's kind of curling in. Now, when I was looking at this um, earlier, I was like, actually that bit does not look smooth. And that is part of the problem with just uh, blocks. So we'll probably end up tweaking this a little bit later, perhaps, I don't know if I remember, but it needs a bit of smoothing out. Um, same at the back right here. So we're gonna have blocks in here, plus one. Okay, so blocks in here plus one, so you just end up having it where it wraps around here, like that. Then on the back now, we're gonna do a couple bits uh, different, all right? So with your slabs first, we're gonna join in the slab here, and join in the slab there, join in the slab there, like that, so that gives us our, our starting point. Where we've got these four going across, okay? That is where we're gonna build, um, we're gonna have our layers going in like that, but not only that, 
where we've got the um, side bit here, these these two, we're going to add an extra two. So add an extra two there, bring that across there like that. And then from these, we're going to go one, two, then two, then two. So that's what you end up getting, okay? So it's just from that side line there, you can have those twos going in, okay? And then everything else... Now, I don't know why I need to do two there, but uh, it just fits the pattern, doesn't it? Um, but everything else is just going to be blocks in this bit, all right? So that's what we end up getting there. So that bit's a little bit different than everything else. But there we go, guys. That's it for layer number nine. On to layer number 10 now. Grab your slab, and just where we've got this little two block gap, we're going to go back from here onto these two, to, to hopefully, eventually, there we go, get two slabs in there. Man, I messed those slabs up so bad. Two slabs, then we're going to have another two slabs. Then we're going to have three slabs. One, two, three with five blocks behind. One, two, three, four, five. Then switch over to your slabs. You're going to have six of these now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go out again with six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then moving inwards, we're going to have five slabs. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have seven blocks right here. Okay, seven blocks of your black concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then five slabs. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to have two slabs and then two slabs. All right, let's do the same on the other side now. So we get two of your slabs, three slabs, five blocks behind. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to get six slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Move in with five slabs. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna have seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At the end of this, we're gonna have five slabs. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna have two slabs. One, two, like that. Right, back around to the front now. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna just do the slab part of it first. So where we've got the middle, we're going to add in two slabs right here, and then one here, one here like that. So you go one, two, three, four, and then you go diagonal like that, and just fill that in. Then what we're going to do is with our uh, black concrete, just bring this all the way back, and notice the gap, okay? Bring it all the way back to there, and then this gap we're going to just put in normal blocks, right? So bring this all the way back to there, and fill in the gap like that. Then what we're going to do is where we've got this first run of six slabs, the first two of those, that's where we're going to build a line going across, okay? So that's where that line goes across. And then everything forwards is just blocks, okay? So nice and easy, really. That's the cutoff point. Kind of, actually, almost. Uh, apart from the middle two, knock out the middle two. I was just looking at it going, something's not right. This is not going to look right if it's just straight, but there we go. That's what the, that's what's going on there. Um, then for the back now, we're going to go one, two, add another two slabs in, so you get four in the middle. And we get one on the side again, so it's actually the same as the uh, front, which is weird. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to have one block of your black concrete, then a row of three black concrete, row of three black concrete. Then we're going to have a row of three yellow terracotta, and then we're going to have two rows of three black concrete. One, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And the only other thing we're going to do is going to add in two blocks here and two blocks here like that. So that's what you end up getting. But guys, that's it for layer number 10. For layer number 11 now, we're actually going to go to the rudder before I forget because I was just looking at it going, I'm sure I've missed something somewhere. And yes, I have. So right at the back here, we're going to add on three blocks of your black concrete right here. Then on the back part, we're going to have a polished blackstone stair and then two blocks like that, okay? So that should have been part of uh, the previous two layers, but uh, I kind of missed it. Now what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna be building part of the conning tower. We're gonna be laying the base for it, really. So we're gonna have two blocks right here. Then we're gonna have 16 blocks. So it's just covering up that gap, okay? So two there, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, like that. And then we're going to have one block at the back. So we're going to do the same on the other side, okay? So we've got a bit of a gap at the back part of it, but there we go. That's what we end up getting there. Now, at the back itself, with your slabs, it's nice and easy. Where we've got this, like, open gap, that's where you're just going to fill in the slabs. 
there we go. Um, and then the only other thing we need to do here is we're going to go one, two, three, like that. Okay, we're just going to fill in that gap. Now, the bit that I wasn't very happy with, which was right here, if you guys want to, would be to knock out two blocks, put in two slabs, and put in a block behind like that if you want to smooth it a little bit. Um, so it's this bit right here. So knock out two, put in a block, put in a couple of slabs there. You could technically bring that slab forwards. Actually, that probably looks better. There we go. Bring that forwards like that if you want to smooth it out. Um, not too bad. But there we go. That's it, guys, for layer number 11. So it's just the conning tower left. And now for the conning tower, which is the uh, bit that sticks up, all right? Gives it that kind of uh, really nice submarine shape, I find. You know, kind of iconic shape, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Anyway, what we're going to do on the front here, we're going to build this up to three. So we're just going to add two more blocks on top. So you can get three blocks there. The next one is going to be built up to six. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six in total. Three there, three there, like that. The next layer, we're going to have seven going this way. So one, two, three, four, whoops, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to have two in the middle. And this is all going to be up to that six high, okay? Apart from the two, which of course will be five high because it's already one block up. And do the same on the other side with your black concrete. Just fill this all in. There we go. Like that. Now that'll leave a gap at the back. So with your black uh, polished blackstone slab, put five on. One, two, three, four, five. Like that, that'll block up that uh, little gap. Then what we're going to do, right on the side here, where we've got the first run of this seven, um, we're going to be two blocks up, okay, so we can put those two blocks in, and then on the lower slab we're going to go one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then one, like that. So you get two, four, four, one. You can take that little guide piece out then. So it was a two, four, four, and then a one. Just to build those in there like that. Now at the top, what we're going to do is we're going to block this all up, apart from this gap here, okay? So just from the front. I used a dark oak trapdoor, that you could use an iron trapdoor if you wanted to. Uh, it would definitely look better, I think, with an iron trapdoor, but I, I don't know, it looked like the water was then going to come through, so I decided not to. Um, and then what you're going to need is a diorite wall, birch fence, iron bar, and a flower pot, all right? <laughs> nice random mix. So from the back, what we're going to do is we're going to be one in, and we're going to go one, two with your diorite wall. Next one along is going to be three blocks of diorite, two, three going high, with a flower pot on top. Diagonal from that, have a diorite wall, then two birch fence, and then an iron bar. So diorite, two birch fence, and an iron bar like that, just like that. Then we're going to do right here, so it's not diagonal, it's diagonal plus one, it's going to be a diorite uh, wall with an iron bar on top. Diagonal from that, just an iron bar. Either side of the trap door, we're going to have a birch fence, and that's going to have an iron bar on top. And then in the front of your uh, Dubri what's it, we're going to have a diorite wall with a birch fence with an iron bar on top like that. So that's all the different bits of sensors and stuff on top. Now, for the pennant number, I will leave a link in the description. If I forget, let me know, guys, and I'll get that added as soon as possible. But this will allow you to do numbers. So in this case, this is 585. Um, the only one that doesn't look great is the 5, I find, with this stuff. But it is the best you can do. So you can have 858, for example, for this one. Uh, and yeah, I just put that right in the middle, right? So we two blocks either side of that and went with it, okay? So right there, 585 just like that. Now you can also, guys, I should say, is uh, if you want to, you can put a stair on that bit or have it one higher and have a stair like this. Um, it's totally up to you guys what you think looks best. Uh, I just left it so that the silhouette silhouette uh, is actually hasn't got any slabs on it apart from the small piece at the side. But guys, that is it for this tutorial. I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I really appreciate everybody that supports me on Patreon and also as a YouTube member. Without you guys, this channel would not be here. So if you guys do enjoy my stuff and would be able to support me, please do check out my Patreon. Um, like I say, I really, really appreciate it. 
But thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.